now. NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Kind of neat, right? Yeah, that is really cool. Yeah. Cool, uh, literally. <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, days below zero. Uh, this is from when? The start of the year? Uh, start of the winter. Got to keep track, right? Because by the end of March, we want, we want a trophy for okay. this, for what we've gone through. Oh, I played it too soon. What was your guess? You were going to guess 10. Okay, well, I don't know if I believe you, but yes, we've had 10 days this winter below zero. The average is 14. Oh, there's still a lot to go, and we actually have a few more coming up this week, like probably two or three more. But of course, it has meant for some great hockey on Lake Champlain. This picture in from Swanton of a game recently. Of course, it's shallower there, so the ice is thicker, but... A big thanks to Critter Ferlani for sending in that picture. And temperatures right now in that area, about 10 degrees. Same deal in Swanton, 6 in Malone. Now, this is without the wind. The wind chill is lower. We do have a wind chill advisory through the early morning hours tomorrow. It's 9 right now in Middlebury. But, of course, it'll be uh, feeling colder than that through most of tomorrow with a little wind out of the north. We have the sunshine, that's nice, just doesn't warm us up. And then the snow potential for Saturday. So here's Storm Tracker. It's mostly clear, but the front is just about ready to come through. It doesn't really have much with it, much clouds or snow or anything like that, but it certainly has the cold behind it. And that'll be with us for tomorrow and also for a lot of Thursday, at least the first half of Thursday. So here's the sunshine as we go through Wednesday. I think it's still sunny on Thursday morning, but slowly through Thursday, the clouds will thicken up high in the sky. Not enough to give us snow on Thursday, but there will be some snow showers Thursday night and Friday morning. Those go south and then the storm comes up the coast. We'll show you that in just a bit. This is the wind chill map for tomorrow morning. 20 below or so in the Champlain Valley, 30 to 40 below in the Adirondacks. So this year would be Saturday. That's the timeline. The storm is so close to the benchmark. That would be east of Toms River, New Jersey, south of Nantucket. And the wind is cranking. There could be wind 50 to 60 miles an hour with this storm along the New England coast. And then you look up close to the Champlain Valley and what do you see? you see the edge of the storm, which makes for a complicated forecast. So the way we see it right now, it's very low impact or no impact right in the valley. But as you head south and as you head east, a lot more snow and a lot more wind. Now, remember I mentioned that new model run that just came in? This is it. I've got to get out of the way for you to see it. It basically erases all the snow for us in Vermont. It's so far east. Uh, you have to go to New Hampshire, you have to go to Maine. That would be the GFS. Now, here comes the European. Try being a weather forecaster. This is basically the difference that we're looking at. Now, I think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. I think there'll be several inches south of the Champlain Valley. My gut right now says almost nothing right near Lake Champlain, but we'll watch it. So it's cold tonight, below zero, impact weather. And then for tomorrow, impact weather again because it's so cold. Five in Burlington, four for South Hero, and across northern New York, much of the same. So the sun is with us through early Thursday. Just some snow showers early on Friday. Saturday is that potential day for the storm. But again, it seems like the trends are east uh, to really impact us very much. But we'll watch it. Brian, Alice. All right, Tyler, thanks.